Hello everyone and welcome to another session of Linux tutorials or maybe Linux that doesn't matter to be honest I'm not an American or English person I'm a Polish person but I would like to show you some of the new features of Linux Ubuntu 12.04 starting from the Unity toolbar and then going further with some settings and configuration of our system basically what we have is a very professional system you feel it that it's everything is in order and everything looks like a normal operating system that can compete with Windows and Apple Mac OS you've got the desktop and most important you've got the unity toolbar at first I was not very keen and very favorite about the unity toolbar and settings but after working a while with it I thought that this is a very good solution to changing of the times and new functionalities it gives us a an overview and a desk and a desktop and shortcuts that we will that we use most often and we have all in one place starting from dash home then the home folder firefox as a standard browser ubuntu software center system settings and so on you can change the the way of look of this toolbar in some ways so <coughs> I will focus on this one and then we will go further with some graphic setups and tweaking with the systems as you can see I've got three folders on my desktop I will move them and then we'll start talking about unity toolbar so what has changed from the previous version when you click on the dash home you've got the overview of all of the applications that are available as well as as well as our files videos and so on by switching here at the bottom I will use one of the new functionalities that is magnifier you can go through all of our files and applications so going to applications we've got the installed ones there are lots of them uh, and I will talk later about all of the functionalities that are new for the system or you don't know it then we've got the videos and the music which I don't have right now I'm not listening to the music and home which gives us recent applications recent files and downloads you also have a search toolbar which is very useful to search for a new for a new applications and installed ones some of you are thinking what the hell I'm doing with this unity toolbar how can I configure it there are some ways to configure the uh, unity toolbar one of which which is recommended by y Ubuntu website is my unity you can install it from Ubuntu Software Center which is very useful and very simple to use and it gives an overview of all installed applications and the new ones that are available to install let's wait for for the for the Ubuntu Software Center to start in the meanwhile I want to show you on what machine I am recording this video I have some other applications that are available and some other uh, hardware that I will be recording some new manuals but as you can see this is recorded on Intel Atom with only 1.66 GHz of processor and only 1 GB of RAM so it's pretty well configured and very performance well for using it as you can see resources are very heavily used but it's working pretty well 
even even when I'm recording it. So you just right here in the search button my unity and you will have the application that you can install. As you can see with the green box here it is already installed on my computer. I can remove it but here in this field when you will search for it it will be installed. Then you will just write your root password and then you will be able to install the my unity application. So let's get inside the application and see the the all functionality functionalities that are available for it. Let's wait for the application to start. In the meanwhile, I will minimize it. Okay. So the application, let's start from the credits. It is all the credits should go to the pe people that created it. It's very useful. So we can start from the launcher. You've got the full possibilities of changing the the way of Unity toolbar to work. So as you can see, I changed the color of it. Now I will change it again to the green one. It doesn't only change the color of the Unity toolbar, but if you go to the dash home, it will also be affected by the new color. <coughs> okay, transparency. We can change the the way of visibility of the toolbar. I prefer to have it visible, but I don't like the green one, so I'll change to the yellow again. Okay, now we've got the size, so we can have some fun with the sizing. It will affect the, the size of the icons, so if you want to have more and more icons on it, you just change the size of the icons. Then you've got some other graphical interface s changes like black backlights that is only icon search, active icons on as you can see to the left it is changing. You should be having some fun and tweaking with those changes. Also behavior and show devices. If you if you use the always it will show all the devices that are connected. In my situation there are very many of them, so I prefer to use it never. Then we will go to the dash. You can change some of the different settings, especially blur that is smart or dash size that is desktop or netbook. In my, opi in my opinion and in my situation it should be netbook. Then we've got the panel with the transparency and transparency maximize toggle and the desktop. So so we can change also the icons that, that are showing on the desktop from for example show home icon to on and show networking icons to on. This will create new network icon on the desktop. As you can see it, it disappeared also we can have a show trash icon which is on and off it shows not only on the unity toolbar but on the desktop surface then we've got the pen panel menu have icons and windows animations which is on then we've got the font which we can change for the whole system and as well dems which we will have change on the system for example aging gorilla unfortunately did that doesn't work so fast on a netbook but as you can see it changed dramatically you can also change the icons I will go back to the radiance which is the default one so you can have almost all of the changes for the whole Ubuntu system. Now I will close this one and going further 